Some residents did not give Governor Greg Abbott a warm welcome this afternoon as he stopped in the valley to meet with troops and Border Patrol agents on the border. CBS 4 City Hernandez has been there all day and she joins us live from the border in Progresso with more on how the governor plans to fight against illegal activity. Sydney. Nicole, just moments ago, Governor Greg Abbott spoke to hundreds of National Guardsmen who will be securing the U.S.-Mexico border. He says they will serve as extra eyes and ears for Border Patrol and Customs. As he says, there's been a 200% increase in border crossings here in the Rio Grande Valley. Right now, he says there are 762 troops securing the border in the valley, and that number will go up by 300 troops every single week until at least 1,400 Texas National Guardsmen are on the U.S.-Mexico border. The troops will be armed but will not make any arrests regarding border crossings and will simply assist in patrolling the border. Abbott says after being briefed by Border Patrol and Custom agents just moments ago, it's clear many Many dangerous people are crossing the border. When an MS-13 gang member comes across the border, they don't intend to stay right there across the border. Their intention is to get to someplace like Houston or Dallas or Chicago or New York. It's our responsibility on behalf of our fellow Americans that we stop those MS-13 gang members before they get across the border. Coming up on CBS 4 Valley tonight, I'll show you the numbers from where this money for the extra boots on the ground is coming from and for how long Governor Greg Abbott says they will stay. For now, live in Progresso with complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS 4 Valley at 6.